Hello, I'm Tai Hui, the Chief Market Strategist for Asia Pacific from JP Morgan Asset Management, and welcome to this video discussing some of the key macroeconomic themes and also what that means for investors from our fourth quarter 2023 Guide to the Markets Asia. Now, where are we in the global economy right now? The US economy has been resilient, China's recovery has been disappointing, and other developed economies such as Europe and the UK are slowing down. Central banks are still feeling anxious about inflation, so even if we do see policy rates peaking around the world, it will take some time before rate cuts come. In the US, households and corporates locking in low rates before the hiking cycle is helping to delay the effect of higher rates on the economy. However, if the Fed insists on keeping rates high for an extended period of time, more growth slowdown or even recessions could come. We have already seen slower housing activities and corporate investment. In fact, high interest rates are already having a material impact on the European economies. In China, the housing market and its impact on the broader market and the economy is still the key. We have seen some policy stimulus to encourage home buying, including lower mortgage rates and easing buying restrictions. However, a sustained improvement will require more upbeat sentiment on real estate prices going forward. Meanwhile, we see there are sectors in China that are sometimes overlooked, such as the automobile sector, both for domestic consumption and exports, and also renewable energy, as well as advanced manufacturing. So overall, we do expect bond yields to peak, and this calls for an asset allocation more focused on long duration assets, as well as locking in high rates while we can. Now, this could be long-term government bonds and investment-grade corporate debt, as well as growth and technology stocks, whose valuation re-rating could be more significant in a falling yield environment. Asian high-dividend stocks could also once again attract investor attention with cash rates starting to fall. For global corporate high-yield bonds, we believe that high yield to maturity is indeed attractive, and this has been a driver of decent performance year-to-date. However, weaker growth and concerns over rising default could prompt some price volatility. Now, thanks for watching. If you want to get the latest guide to the markets Asia, please reach out to your JP Morgan Asset Management client advisors. You can also visit our website or subscribe to our podcast on Investors Minds to get our latest view on the economy and key market discussions.